Do you know what equity is? Equity is when everyone or every living thing gets what they need. And inequity is when someone does not get what they need. Our inequity is about how the 9.32 billion livestock and the 2 million factory farms worldwide do not have access to healthy living conditions. When you eat a hamburger, you probably just think about how delicious it is and not about the cow it came from. If you do think about the cow, you probably imagine it on a small, happy farm. But that is sadly not always the case. Let's listen to a story of a boy named Michael who is unaware about this issue. Y'all watch him as he learns a lot about factory farming. Wow, the things on this menu look amazing. I love to eat it. This restaurant has great chicken strips, hamburgers, and pork chops. Those foods definitely look tasty. I just learned about this recently. Are you aware of how inequitable the most likely living conditions are of the animals whose meat is in this food? Everyone knows that animals are killed to make these foods. That's true. The animals are killed. But in factory farms, the 99% of the meat you eat comes from, they have a terrible life before they are killed. For instance, cows are often separated from their mother at birth. They are sometimes shot at only a few hours old, or they may live in a factory farm. In a small cage, in crowded and unsanitary conditions, their entire life. Most cows living in factory farms never go outside, and they sometimes are forced into deep mourning. The average lifespan of a cow is 20 years, but cows in factory farms only live to 5 years old at the maximum. That's probably all there in the hamburger you wanted to order. Wait, what? And chickens that are in factory farms spend their whole life in cages and are being forced to lay eggs or they are killed for their meat. They often have their beaks clipped so they cannot peck each other. And male chickens are sometimes killed at birth because they cannot lay eggs. Chickens are the most common livestock animals to be abused. Bats, probably in the chicken strips you are going to order. Whoa, I didn't know that. I thought they used grazing fields until they were killed. Chickens have difficult lives as well. They often have their teeth, tails, or hooves removed, and they aren't even numb. This prevents the pigs from hurting each other, but also causes lifelong pain. Worms are typically killed at birth, and even the average sized pigs often die young for reasons such as starvation. Pregnant pigs are usually kept in small cages that they cannot even turn around in. And even normal pigs usually only get one square meter of space to move in. That's probably in pork chops that you are probably going to order. That's sad, but aren't the animals going to be killed and turned into meat anyway? What's the point of them having a good life? By that logic, why should humans have a good life? We are going to die too. If you think this way, then why should anyone or anything have a good life? The animals are all going to die. Yes, but they deserve to be treated right. Do not just be tortured until they are killed. Never mind, that's not okay they treat animals in factory farms like that. But why hasn't this issue been fixed? Sadly, the government has not made factory farming illegal. They've even encouraged it. Four main factory farm companies include ADM, Bunge, Cargill, and Dreyfus. They are even thriving. Another reason is that Factory farming is cheaper than ethical farming, so less people can afford it. Oh no! What can I do to help stop factory farms? We can fix this issue by not supporting it. Anytime you buy any animal product, you are very likely supporting factory farms and allowing them to continue. If we stop buying meat or getting fast food or anything like that, we can stop factory farms and make them go out of business. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for eating all this meat. Do I have to be vegan now? No, you don't have to be vegan or vegetarian if you don't want to. Just try not to buy from unethical companies like factory farms. Buy from ethical farms instead. Labels such as humanely raised, sustainably raised, or free range are good clues that the animal was raised on an ethical farm. I will. Animals shouldn't be treated this way. We should support equitable farms instead of factory farms. That's a good example of what you can do to stop factory farms. Try to be like Michael. Once you are aware of livestock abuse and factory farms, you can try to stand up for these animals and educate others.
Once you are aware of livestock abuse in factory farms, you can... <laughs>